Good morning, my name is Steve Ray. I'm chairman of the Pound for Piper Trust and a survivor of the Piper Alpha disaster, which took place on the 6th of July 1988. Typically we would do a service in the gardens to remember those that were lost on that fateful night, but this year it's not going to be possible because of the restrictions and lockdown and public gatherings are no longer possible at, at this time. So we've decided to do a virtual service this year. But before we do the virtual service, I want to talk about three things. The why, the timing and the commitment. For the why, we do this service every year in the gardens because it's important we take the time to remember those that are no longer with us and those who still struggle to come to terms with the loss that night. The timing is also important because our industry finds itself in a particularly challenging place where difficult decisions will be made. And as individuals have to make these decisions, I think we should always be conscious of the consequences of poor decisions. And you just have to look behind me to recognise what they could eventually be. On the commitment, as chairman of the trust, and on behalf of the trustees, we have made a commitment to assist in looking after this beautiful space, these gardens, for as long as we can, and to ensure that the memory and the lessons from Piper are remembered forever. And with that, I want to pass you over to the Reverend Gordon Craig, who will conduct the virtual service from St Nicholas Church in the Oil Chapel. Thank you. Under normal circumstances, we would be gathering together today at the Piper Memorial in Hazelhead Park. Of course, we are unable to do this this year, but gathering together to remember is important because it demonstrates that we are not alone in our grief or in our sorrow or in our remembrance. And it hopefully provides a little comfort as it's evident that others are taking the time to remember those lost. The purpose of this short online act of remembrance is to allow people to come together online and remember together. We may be separated, but I'm convinced that as we remember in our homes or in our workplaces, we will find that we're not alone but are in fact participating in something that is happening all round the world just now. Now, the tragedy of Piper Alpha left many legacies for the oil and gas industry. One legacy, which I suspect many will know nothing of, is this special place, the Oil Chapel, part of the Kirk of St Nicholas here in Aberdeen. Following the disaster, it was felt that a special place of remembrance should be created and the oil and gas industry funded the construction of this place, the Oil Chapel, and it was opened in 1989 by Her Royal Highness Princess Anne. In here, we have the Piper Alpha Book of Remembrance and other forms of remembrance marking tragedies throughout the industry. In front of me is a table, which is at the centre of this chapel. Surrounding the table are a number of chairs. These chairs are made of slatted wood. The wood slats come from different trees. The names of these trees spell out the words, we remember. The table itself sits on a rug, symbolising the waters round the coast, with the table itself symbolising the coast. And on that rug there are triangles which indicate the oil and gas fields round the United Kingdom. A big feature of this chapel is of course the window behind me. This window signifies Aberdeen and it's in three sections, land, sea and sky. 
the land showing traditional industry of agriculture, the sea showing fishing and the oil and gas industry, and the sky above. Today, the second level is perhaps of greater significance, which shows a, an oil installation and a gas installation. Around these installations are little glass lenses. The red ones indicate oil installations and the green ones gas. You will notice, however, there is one in white. That white lens represents Piper Alpha. It also has the words of the famous hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save, the maritime hymn, So Beloved of Sailors. But the legacy of this place is that since Piper, all those who have lost someone offshore, whether in a major accident or through natural causes, have a place to commemorate their loved one. Yes, the Piper Alpha Book of Remembrance is here, but here too is the industry's Book of Remembrance, which records all who have died offshore. There are plaques commemorating the Shetland crash in 2013. There's a plaque commemorating the Chinook crash in 1986. And also a bell from Brent Spa. And that bell is rung every year at our act of remembrance to close our minute silence. And we will be using that bell again today to bring our minute silence to an end. Perhaps it's apt that we do this because it was 30 years ago on July the 25th when six men lost their lives on Brent Spar when their helicopter came down in the sea. Contained just outside the chapel is the Book of Condolence which was filled in following the Flight 85N helicopter crash in 2009. All these things are a legacy of Piper Alpha and our hope is that in remembering all who die offshore, those who have lost someone receive a small crumb of comfort. But today we remember Piper Alpha and hopefully you can see now how appropriate it is that we start this act of remembrance here in the Oil Chapel. This is the place in which my predecessor, the Reverend Andrew Jolly, said to the congregation, there must always be names with faces, stories of sacrifice and of love, devotion and of faith so that what has gone on before does not become just another statistic. If we as a community or as an oil and gas industry or as a city or as a country allow this to happen, we should hang our heads in shame. Today in this kirk, we will remember them by name, reminding us not just who they are, but who they were and who they will always be to those who knew and loved them. So this is what we do today. Let us now turn to the Piper Alpha Book of Remembrance. As they worked to draw out of the deep the hidden treasures of God's proud but dangerous creation, they paid with their lives the cost of the warmth and comfort of our homes, the ease and swiftness of our travel. They are not to be forgotten, for we are all members, one another. Let us in silence remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who died on Piper Alpha in 1988 and who are now in his eternal care and whose memory we treasure and who have helped us to be who and what we are today. 
we remember. Robert Adams George Anderson Ian Anderson John Anderson Mark Ashton Wilson Bain Barry Barber Craig Barclay Alan Barr Brian Batchelor Amabel Jim Borg Hugh Brokenridge Sandy Bremner Eric Brionchon Hugh Briston Henry Brown Stephen Brown Gordon Bruce James Bruce Carl Bruce David Campbell David A. Campbell Alexander Cargill Robert Carroll Alan Carter Robert Cleland Stephen Cole Hugh Connor John Cook John Cooper Bill Coots William Cowie Michael Cox Alan Craddock Edward Crowden Bernard Curtis Jose De Silva John Dawson Eric Deverell Alexander Duncan Charles Duncan Eric Duncan John Duncan Thomas Duncan William Duncan David Ellis Douglas Finlay Harry Flock George Fowler Alec Frew Samuel Gallagher Miguel Galvez Ernie Gibson Albert Gill Ian Galanders Kevin Gilligan Sean Glendinning John Goldthorpe Stephen Goodwin James Gordon David Gorman Kenneth Graham Peter Grant Cyril Gray Harold Green Michael Groves John Hackett Ian Hay Thomas Hayes James Heggie David Henderson Philip Houston Duncan Jennings Geoffrey Jones Christopher Cavanaugh William Kelly Ian Killington John Kirby Stuart Knox Alex Lane Terence Largue Graham Laurie Finlay Leggett Brian Lithgow Robert Littlejohn Martin Longstaff Raymond Mahoney John Morrison Martin Sidney Ian McBoyle Robert McCall James McCulloch 
Alistair MacDonald, Alexander McQueely, Thomas McEwen, William McGregor, Frederick McGurk, William McIntosh, Gordon Mackay, Charles McLaughlin. Neil McLeod, Francis McPake, David McQuinney, Dougald McWilliams, Carl Mearns, Derek Miller, Alan Miller, Frank Miller, John Malloy, Les Morris, Bruce Munro, George Murray, James Niven, Graham Noble, Michael O'Shea, Robert Pearson, Ian Piper, Vaso Pokribniak, Raymond Price, Neil Pyman, Terence Stephen Quinn, William Rayburn, Donald Reed, Robert Reed, Gordon Rennie, Robert Richard, Alan Riddich, Adrian Roberts, Alexander Robertson, Donald Robertson, Gary Ross, Michael Ryan, Stanley Sangster, James Savage, Michael Scorgy, Bill Scorgy, John Scott, Colin Seaton, Robert Selby, Michael Serink, Michael Short, Richard Skinner, William Smith, James Spears, Kenneth Stevenson, Thomas Sterling, Malcolm Storey, James Stott, Jürgen Zwerka, Stuart Sutherland, Terence Sutton, Alexander Ronald Taylor, Alistair Thompson, Robert Vernon, John Wakefield, Michael Walker, Brian Ward, Gareth Watkin, Francis Watson, Alexander Wibley, Kevin White, Robert Whiteley, Graham White, James White, Alan Wicks, Paul Williamson, David Weiser, John Woodcock.
Whether you have faith or not, I hope you can agree with the sentiments expressed in this short prayer. Lord God, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them into your unending care. We ask that you hear our prayers for those still affected by the events commemorated here. Give them the comfort and strength of your presence and surround them with your healing and your love and your power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Two wreaths are now going to be placed at the memorial. One from Pound for Piper, and Steve Ray is going to lay that one. And one from the survivors, laid by Joe Meenan. If we were gathered at the memorial, I would now invite family, friends and colleagues to lay their own floral tributes. Those who have visited the memorial will have noticed that these floral tributes often include little messages. Pound for Piper have invited family, friends and colleagues to upload images and comments which we can now share. Eternal Father, strong to save His arm, it binds the restless wave He bids the mighty ocean deep Its own appointed limits keep
us when we cry to Thee. Those in peril on the sea, hear us when we cry to Thee. Those in peril on the sea. The oil and gas industry book of remembrance has these words inscribed on the cover. Time is too slow for those who wait, too swift for those who fear, too long for those who grieve, too short for those who rejoice. But for those who love, time is eternity. In love and respect, we have remembered those who were lost on Piper Alpha, their characters and their stories we commit to our memories, their loves and ideals we commit to our hearts. May we somehow find the peace of God this day and in the days to come. Amen.